गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड यू आर व्यूइंग माय चैनल फोटो क्रिएशन इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ग्रेडियंट टूल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज द ग्रेडियंट टूल एंड एज ए बोनस यू विल आल्सो लर्न हाउ टू गिव सिनेमेटिक लुक टू योर इमेज यूजिंग दिस टूल सो सी दिस ट्यूटोरियल टिल एंड The gradient tool creates a gradual blending between multiple colors. You can choose from the preset gradient fills or create your own. You can customize practically every setting and use it in many different ways. I have already opened a blank document to show you how gradient tool works. To select the gradient tool, click and hold the paint bucket tool. A flyout menu opens and select here the gradient tool. When the gradient tool is active you will see a gradient picker in the left hand side of the options bar clicking the small arrow next to the sample reveals the gradient picker panel in which you will see some gradients to see how to use any gradient choose any gradient as i am selecting this gradient now click and drag with left mouse button from left to right in the document and you will see a gradient filled in the document You can drag the mouse from left to right, up and down, or diagonally. Next to the sample, you will see five icons representing the five different type of gradients that are linear, radial, angle, reflected, and diamond. The linear gradient will gradually transition your colors in a straight line from the start point to the end point. I have just shown you the linear gradient. The radial gradient. radiates out from the start point in the shape of a circle select it and drag the mouse from the center of the document in any direction and you will get a radial gradient as you are seeing here the angle gradient creates a transition clockwise in the direction of angle created by the line uniting the start and end points i am showing you here how this gradient looks like The reflected gradient creates a mirror effect using the start point as the center as you can see here. Finally the diamond gradient radiates out from the start point in the shape of diamond. Look at the gradient created by this. You can see a gear icon in the right upper side of the gradient preset. Clicking the gear icon brings up the list where you can see many gradient sets which you can load or save a created preset. Suppose you want to load the pastel gradient, click on it and a new window opens and Photoshop asks whether you want to replace the current gradient from pastel gradient. If you click okay the current gradient will be replaced by pastel gradient but if you want to retain both click on append if you have downloaded any gradient from the net you can also load it for this click on the load document and select your gradient file and then click load <laughs> the gradient will be loaded as i am loading here a gradient from my desktop If none of these presets suits to your need, you can create a new gradient by double-clicking the sample to bring up the gradient editor window. Here you will see a bar with the current gradient, along with a set of sliders, which you can use to create the gradient you want. The top sliders control the opacity, while the bottom sliders control the color of the gradient. If you need different color you can do it by clicking on the color slider at the bottom of the gradient suppose you want to change the color of the left side of the gradient then click on the bottom slider below it the color picker panel opens and here you can select any color and then click okay and the previous color will be replaced by the current one as you can see here you can change the color of any area of the gradient in this way as well as choosing the colors you can also choose the start and end points of the gradient by moving these sliders after that click on new button and you will see a new gradient has been added in the presets as you are seeing here 
After that, you will find an option for choosing gradient type. There are two types of gradients, solid and noise. You have just created a solid gradient. You can also create a noise gradient. For this, select the noise in the gradient type. You will see that a noise gradient is instantly created in the place of solid gradient. You can see that there is bending between the colors of this gradient. To correct this, type 10% in roughness and you can see that now gradient is smooth. You can change the color of the gradient with the three RGB color sliders below the gradient. You will also find a randomize button here. Just click it and you will see that a new color gradient is created. The interesting thing about this randomize button is as many times you press, it will produce a new gradient. So go on clicking and when you like any gradient, click on new button and that gradient will be created. Next to the gradient icons are two menus. The first lets you to set the blending mode. The blending mode decides how your gradient will be blended with the image below it. Next to it, you get a slider that lets you control the gradient's opacity. Finally, you have three checkboxes. First is reverse. It reverses the color order of your gradient. Diagram makes the transition of the gradient color smoother, so always select it. Transparency, apply the transparency to the gradient. So now you know how the gradient tool works and how to customize. Now let me show you how you can use it to give your images a trendy look. And you will also learn here how blend mode and opacity should be used. Now I am going to show you how you can get the cinematic color effect with the gradient tool. Color grading is a term mostly used in video editing where the colors get shifted to create what is known as cinematic look. In recent years, fashion and wedding photographers adopted this term and the appealing look and made it a very popular process in their community. And in the works of many photographers, you can see this effect. There are many ways to apply cinematic color grading to achieve a cinematic look on the images. Here I am going to show you how you can achieve this effect in seconds with the gradient tool. For showing this effect, I have opened a photograph of a couple. Now select a gradient. You may have to experiment with some gradient for getting the desired look. I am taking a gradient as you can see here. Now apply a linear gradient and you will get the effect you are seeing here. The gradient is applied, but we cannot see the image now because the gradient is opaque. Actually, we will have to apply proper blending mode and opacity to get the desired look. Undo this gradient and again use this gradient, but this time select color in the blending mode and you will get this result. As you can see that the color is too intense. To correct this, type 20 in the opacity and apply this gradient again and see you have got the so-called cinematic effect in minutes. Now just change the gradient and change the look as I am showing you here. You can change the blending mode and opacity to get different type of result from the same gradient. I am taking hue blend mode now and applying it in 100% opacity and you can see this effect is different from the previous one. I am showing you effect of some other gradients. The gradient tool gives you endless possibilities for adding effects to your photos. Start experimenting and have fun. Bye for now. Have a nice day. Meet you again in the next video. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. 
kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials. If you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials, kindly press the bell icon. See you again in the next tutorial. Goodbye and have a nice day.